Today it's all about cropping. Now cropping is a very important function in GIMP. Essentially what cropping is, is it's when you're cutting down the content area of your image or in certain functions case of your layer. It's very important for uh, editing photos, editing designs, making avatars, profile pictures, that sort of thing. Very common operation and it's very easy too. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the four different types of cropping you can use in GIMP. So as an example here, let's look at this image. We see there's a little bit of a design in the middle here. And uh, it's, I made this design a while ago, but the problem is that it's surrounded by transparency because the canvas is too big for my content of the image. So what I want to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go image and then auto crop image. And that crops it down to just the non-transparent content in the middle. And I can get this part of the design. Now, say I want to select only a bit of this and crop out like that a bit. So I'm going to use my selection tool, which the hockey is R. And uh, don't forget, if you hold down shift during it, you can make a proportional crop to the size of your frame. That's very cool. Anyway, just make my selection here. I'm going to go back up to that image drop down and then image crop to selection. And that is cropped it to that selection. The entire image is now just that selection. Pretty darn cool, if I say so myself. Now you'll also notice that there's a, there's a third crop tool up at the image drop down menu, and that's called Zealous Crop. Uh, and I'm not going to get super into that because it's it's kind of a weird tool that isn't very relevant in my opinion, but um, it works with colors and layers and it's weird. So that's the image crop. Let's move on to the layer crop. We've seen how we can affect the entire image using crop. In this instant, uh, or instance of this poster, which you can download for free by going to learngimp.org and then clicking on the download posters button on the bottom left. Very cool. Uh, let's look at some layer borders here. So on this little music triplet right here, I'm going to unhide it and hide it as you can see what I'm talking about. There's our, our content in that layer, but the layer image uh, border, the layer border is much, 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 much bigger than that. So you see if I move it around, the layer border moves with it. And it's like massive for how big our actual piece of, of graphic is, right? So what I want to do is I'm going to zoom back in and I'm going to click on this music triplet layer and I'm going to go up to layer instead of image this time. I'm clicking on layer, drop down menu, and I'm going to go down to auto crop layer. And now we can see the layer has been cropped only to where there is this musical note because that was the only kind of content, raster image, content material, whatever you want to call it, existing in that layer, right? So it's cropped it down to that layer and it's now much more easy to constrain, proportionize, etc. It's very useful. Now let's look at this top swirl thing I've got going up here. It's a pretty cool swirl if I say so myself. Uh, but as we see, let's zoom out here. It's actually a bunch of content above and below where I want it to be, right? There's a bunch of material that's cut off from the image. So I'm going to take my selection tool and just select because the selection tool will automatically like clasp to the actual image boundaries. I'm going to select the only part of it that I want and then go up to layer crop to selection. And as you can see, the layer is now only existing uh, where I wanted it to. With I defined by the selection tool, right? So it saves space in my image file, which is good for everyone. So that is cropping in a nutshell. And you can see there's two different types. There's the image cropping and there's the layer cropping, both of which are very, very useful and essential for manipulating photos correctly.